Hi guys, so I will try to make this uh, car sketch live uh, tutorial as I promised. Uh, you, I think you saw the, the trailer and if you did not see the trailer, it's okay, no problem. Uh, we are live, I'm just waiting for some people to come in. I want to tell you that, um, I want to remind you that uh, please stay home and respect the new rules, which is stay home to win these battles against uh, the coronavirus. I see there are already five people connected. Please write to me a message to tell me if you can see really well the whole, the whole paper, because this is a little bit bigger. Hi guys. So, and uh, we're gonna make a, a sketch. And this time I would like to sketch with you uh, an interior design sketch, a dashboard with a door panel. Let's see what comes out. I'm doing this because a lot of people ask me to sketch again an interior. So this time uh, I will try to do that. It's not very easy because I have the structure that it's holding the telephone <laughs> in this position, just uh, on front of my belly, but I will try anyway, okay? So I will uh, start. So first of all, we have to make uh, our sort of box so that we have an idea, okay? An idea of this uh, interior, okay? Then we put a center line, okay? So, as you can see, now we have a sort of door panel area, and this is the, the area where we will make our dashboard. I put a center line because, as you know, this is the driver position, this is the passenger position. So, Let's start, let's see what happens. If this is the windshield, okay, we have our pillar here, okay, making quick sketch. And then the other one will be here. So, I try to block in shape, okay, to get the, already the proportions, okay, and after we will see how this will become a real interior. Okay, so I think that now you can see basically the environment, okay? So we know that here we have uh, the proportion for the doors, okay? And then this is our dashboard. We can already put a steering wheel, okay? In proportions should be almost like that. I don't know if you, if you can see it. I hope so. Okay. So when we make an interior, okay, when we put a, when we make a dashboard, we have to understand that we need a, the airbag area for the passenger. Then we have a central, central here where we will have a display, uh, like uh, all, all cars uh, today have, where we have all connectivity stuff. Then we have a, underneath the structure, which is a transversal beam that must be there for security reasons. Steering wheel with uh, extra information like cluster, and instrument and stuff. And then here, you know, we will have basically our center console. Then we have uh, our seat, okay? Mm 
And of course, on the other side, we have the other seat. It's a little complicated to draw like that, but I'll do my best. Okay, all right, so here we go. Now, in this area, of course, we have uh, the area where we, we put our elbow, so with some, uh, with some functions here. And then we have our classical pocket here, okay, with a speaker. And of course, here we have our rear view mirror. Okay, and then of course we have another one here. Okay, when we have a, when we make a, a dashboard, of course we have to think where we will put first the ventilation system, so the air vents. Now we know that we have an air vents that will be basically in this area for the passenger. We will have another one that can be on top or lower in this area, okay? And then we have, of course, the other one here. Right? So now I'm starting to construct exactly all the elements I have to put on my, on my dashboard to make sure that I don't forget anything. And then, most of all, that I can sketch around this, uh, I'm sharpening my pencil, that I can sketch around that. And, uh, the Indian Auto Expo, which car did you like the most? No, I didn't go the, uh, the Indian Auto Expo, I'm sorry. I didn't see, I didn't see. So here in the center, we will have something that uh, probably will look like this, okay? which is our central display. Okay? It will be basically maybe a 10 or 12 inches display. And because we want to make uh, something maybe integrated with the, with the air vents, why not, you know, to make uh, like uh, one furniture, okay? and then we can put them together. You see? So I'm starting to get a little bit in some details because I now I need to, to see, to start understanding really a little bit more what I'm doing, okay? So here we have this central area, which is just going to be very important. And then uh, once I do that, I know that I have uh, here too my other vents, okay? Let's make it like that, okay? So we give a little bit of style. But most of all, we know that uh, this is the right place where we can put our side passenger vents, okay? And here too, I do a little bit of detailing because I want to, I want to see. I, it, it inspires me, you know, now I'm getting some lines that uh, tells me more or less the type of design I can uh, realize, you know, the creativity. Now I'm trying to correct, okay? So on the other side, so it's gonna be more like that.
Okay. So this is more an indication on the left because it's small, it's in perspective. We don't really see it. Maybe it's a little bit too low. So let's correct this. Okay, more like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm checking the perspective via the display of my telephone that is the, also my camera. And I can assure you that I can really see all the, all the mistakes. It's very easy. Okay. So, now I want to remind you that I'm not an interior designer, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm born as an exterior designer, but I did have the experience sometimes to work on some, uh, on some uh, interior projects, and I really had a lot of fun. And I think that uh, what I learned, I can, I can share it with you. So, then I'll take uh, this ruler to make sure that I, I'm starting to fix some really nice lines that will help me for the perspective and also to give a, a sort of a defined, you know, sort of defined perimeter. that will help me to understand better. Okay, so here we have basically the beginning, okay? So I'm always sharpening my pencil. I put uh, again my center line, okay? You can see that putting my center line, I get some nice detail. I show you. The center line is telling me quite, it's giving me quite a lot of information. And now that I did all this, I have to understand what's going on here. And I think that, sorry, <laughs> it's not easy. Um, I think that from here, I would like you know, to create already a sort of separation from the top part and the lower part. So I, I turn the page to, to make a better quality line, okay? I mean, I hope I can do it. Okay, let's turn again and let's see. You see, now we are starting to separate the top from the bottom. And of course, the bottom is very important because uh, at the bottom we have, uh, for sure we have uh, our stick shift gearbox, okay? Maybe we can do something like that. And then we have a glove box compartment on this area. So now we have to understand how those elements will go together. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to sketch around so that I can sort of, I can get Okay, so you see, now we can see more and we're starting to have an idea of this, uh, of this vehicle. Now, another thing we have not to forget is that here on the left side where the driver is, we will have a, a section that will be basically like this one, okay, here too. 
but we will have, uh, of course, the area where we have the the column, steering column cover. So, so when we make a sketch, the steering wheel, we don't have to make a, a real sketch of the steering wheel. In this case, what do we do? We just make an accent, okay, to give the idea that we have the steering wheel. Look how I do it, okay? Of course, I'm following the perspective, okay? So you can see here, you know, we already have the idea where we put our hands. And the same thing we will do on the bottom. Of this uh, ghost steering wheel. Then don't worry, the eye will complete uh, the, in the imaginary of our brain will complete the idea that that, that is a steering wheel. Okay? Okay, let's check again in the right perspective. Well, I would say pretty much okay. Now what we can do here, we can, uh, you know, we can just uh, you know, j just put some indications. You see? So we have the idea of the airbag area and also the, the spokes of this steering wheel. Okay, let's put a, a round shape just like it is uh, if it were a logo. Okay, you see? All right, now that we, we have done this, we have to think what we have here in front of this steering wheel. So, usually we have the instrument panel, okay? That is more or less this big. Has a... And of course we have the glass that has a negative anti-reflection uh, inclination, but in the interior here, we will have of course, you know, what we need in terms of the information, all right? Well, I'm just checking perspective, lines, it looks pretty much okay. But one thing else that we have to do now is that we have this line, okay? And we can start making sort of a design element and here we will make just a sort of a undercut shape 
And here too, okay? And we will just make the lower the surface that is here, you know, I can just do a quick shading so that we understand better the shape that we are doing. Okay, let's see again. All right, so now we have sections of our interior. So we have, a, here is the airbag. Then we have sort of a vertical section. And then the inclinated section for our glove compartment, okay, that will be here. All right, so this is, of course, this is not a real design proposal, but this is uh, just to give you an idea how you can construct and start your interior, which is never really, never easy. Believe me, never, never re easy. Okay, so, so this is in shadow, so let's put the shadow so that we see better the three-dimensional effect, okay? Also, this is a little bit in shadow. You see? Here is in shadow also. Okay. Now let's let's talk about this area. Because here we can imagine that we have a compartment, a storage, all right, in which we can put objects. So I'll do it this way, okay? And I put some shadow so that we can read the, the three-dimensional, you know, thing with some uh, light effect, okay? You see? So we are starting to get into some details that are very important to understand how this interior is going to be and what this interior can offer. So I, at the same time, as you can see, I'm working better my lines so that I want to give a little bit more. Okay, now we have here, okay, because this is, let's imagine this is an electrical car. We will have just a very small, very small gear shift knob. Because what we have to do, it's just plus and minus, you know? So, Here we will have our graphics, okay? Okay, so then of course the light is coming from here and I will put the shadow of this. Okay, so do you see? 
Now it's, it's getting, we have almost everything there. So we are trying to see it. Now we can say, I like it, I don't like it, but at least we can see it. Then another thing we can do that usually we have in, in those cars, okay? We have another, another storage area in here. You see? And here too, I go with the, this is really dark because it's almost inside, almost no light there, okay? You see? So little by little, I'm making like a sculpture, you know, I'm really sculpting this shape. And I'm starting to see quite a lot of stuff. For example, here where we have our steering wheel. We have our, what in, uh, what in Italy we call the ham. <laughs> but it's not cheese and ham. It's the, it's the column cover that usually it's rounded, okay, like that. You see? And this gives more credibility to your sketch. Ugh. Fixing some lines. All right, again. So, what do you think so far? Now, I would like to apply some little details, you know, to make on this dashboard, this, uh, this proposal a little bit special, you know. So, we have here, our frame of our display. Okay. Then at the bottom, we need, we are missing still something very important, which is our warning button. And this must be all the time, this is very important, in every interior, you know, with a little triangle. It can be a little bit shaded, just a little bit, okay? And this button is always in the center. Don't forget that. Because when you're driving and something bad happens, you know that your hand is already here, you can just touch it very fast, very quickly. So it's a security thing. And then here inside, we can sketch a little bit of, uh, you know, the graphics that we have in our display. For example, if we have, uh, you know, If we are in a town, we have a GPS, okay? A na navigation system, all right? This is more like an American town. It looks everything very geometric. In Europe, it would be completely different. You know? And uh, the GPS has also all the information here on the side, okay? And then we can uh, put a dot, which is our car, all right? So this is the first graphics. Then the second graphics we can put 
on the side, it's what it's what we have for entertainment, which means a radio. So we have, for example, I don't know, FM, okay, with some uh, graphics from the music, all right? And then once we did this, we can apply a little bit of, uh, of reflection on the glass to give the idea. I will do it now, don't worry. I'm just making the background. You see? Now we can understand better. Then I put the reflection, you know? Just like on a glass. And the shading on the side. Okay, now I just do a little bit better some detailing here to make sure that it looks uh, sharper. All right, so you see, and because the light we said coming from here, we have here we have the shadow of the steering wheel. The bottom part, it's all in shadow. Here too, of course. And here a little bit too. Because we have this furniture in the center that is bringing shadow. Don't forget the light is coming from here. following the shape of the section of this surface. Now, one thing we want to do to make sure that we really understand the, sh the shapes and the 3D, we had to make dark where it must be dark. There you go. You see? Now we have an idea. We have a really nice idea of what it means, what, what we have here. <clears throat> this is just a some extra shading to make sure that we we have a really good idea of of the whole thing okay this is of course just for a quick sketch huh? so i'm going slow and also i'm in a position really really hard believe me to sketch, but uh, if I if I were just sketching normally, I would be sitting and of course not breaking my back the way I'm doing now.
Okay. So I show you again. Oops. Space is not big here. Okay. But we are still missing something. Because here we have our, you know, probably the wheel. Well, it's here. Okay. So all this is in shadow. And this is in shadow, therefore we must put shading. So that we really see the three-dimensional, three-dimensional effect. And here we have to hit a little bit stronger. So here, we, I just want to show you one thing. This is the section, and here it's going like that. Can you see the detail? Because here we are starting really to, to make the, our sculpture. You know, we really want to understand how the, the, the feet are going to be here. So we want to make sure that it's a little bit empty, empty on the side to create space. Okay, so you can see now that with this shadow, it's much easier to understand what's going on. Okay, same thing, we have to do it here. You see? Now I will, uh, I will do the same thing I did here, I will do it here. So I have to just hit a little bit stronger some areas to really put them dark because they are really in shadow. We, cannot, we can barely see behind. You see? And the last area where we want to do something, it's here. And of course, here, I would like to put some, uh, some buttons because I'm sure we need some commands here. So basically, what do we do? We just uh, do this and this. Then we have here our pedals. And of course, only the, the brake, because this is, as we said, And if we put those, then we will have a shadow about those, okay?
You see? Well, now when you see all this, basically we have our interior, we have our dashboard. L latest element I would like to highlight, it's this part, okay? so that we get an idea, a better idea of our driving position. Okay, I think and I hope <laughs> that you like what I did today and uh, we will be together again uh, today it's uh, 20, I forgot, 21. Okay, so that's it. I finished. Now, wait that I will just... Uh... Here I am. <laughs> I have my back. I want to show you. You see, with this one, in front of my belly was not very easy to make this sketch. But anyway, I hope that you liked it, can be useful to you. For all those that would like to do interior sketching, I repeat, I'm not an interior sketcher. This is, uh, I have my colleagues that are much, much better. But here you have the basics, okay? And on top of this, you can start learning how to organize your, uh, your interior dashboard sketch very quickly. And then you can put it underneath and trace it and change your styling, okay? All right, so thank you and uh, talk to you soon uh, during uh, the coming week because I'm painting, I'm doing a lot of things and I will, of course, share those things with you. Stay home, stay home. Let's be wise, like me, I am wise, I'm home. Ciao.